Uh, let's look at number seven. It says here, a solution of household bleach contains 5.25% sodium hypochlorite by mass. Assuming that the density of bleach is the same as water, calculate the volume of household bleach that should be diluted with water to make 500 milliliters of a pH 10.26 solution. So number seven. Yes, number seven here. So again, I have, I'm given a solution of household bleach, right? It contains 5.25, and this is a mass percent of NaOHCl, right, by mass. So what we're going to have to do first is, this here is a correct solution, right? What we're going to do here is we're going to assume uh, 100 grams. And that when we assume 100 grams of something, it basically means our percent here equals our uh, simply grams here. So I'm going to say, assume 100 grams of, and this here is um, household bleach, right? bleach here so therefore we can say that 5.25 uh, this is NaOCl equals 5.25 grams of NaOCl so now we have something in grams which is great and what we need to do now is we need to find some type of um, some type of uh, concentration for us because we know here NaOCl here sodium hypochlorite here is is a um, is in this case here it'd be I believe a weak base so uh, what we need to do here is we need to find a concentration for this so we can start using um, we can we can uh, because we know it's going to be in equilibrium so in this case here I have massive grams I'm gonna have to find the moles of this guy here so I know that moles the N of NaOCl equals our mass of NaOCl divided by the molar mass of NaOCl. This here is 5.25 grams divided by our molar mass here of our uh, NaOCl. So Na here is, I have Na, well, I'm finding the molar mass here. Na is 22.99. This is 22.99 plus O here. Oxygen here has a an atomic mass of 15.99. Uh, Point nine nine nine, and chlorine is thirty five point four five here. Oh, sorry, thirty five point four five. And then this here, I'm gonna just plug this into my calculator. This will give me the moles of our uh, sodium hypochlorite. So I have five point two five. I'm gonna divide that by the sum of twenty two point nine nine plus fifteen point nine nine nine. plus 15.999 plus 35.45 here. Oh, 35.45, and I'm going to get a value of, this is 0 0.0, 0, sorry, 0 0.071 here. This is moles of Na, whoops, NaOCl. So now we're given the moles of NaOCl. What we need to do is find the concentration, right? Because I have moles here, I want to find the concentration. So if I want to, where to figure this out, um, what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to divide it uh, by the um, by the volume, right? So I can figure out the concentration. Um, it also says here, assuming that the density of bleach is the same as water, calculate the um, volume in moles or sorry in milliliters here so i'm gonna have to do some type of conversion here because i have to actually be in milliliters so maybe i would save that step to um, maybe the end here but what i have here so far is that i have here 0 0.071 and if i divide if i assumed that i have again a one liter of uh of of our volume here it's going to equal our, um, this is going to equal 0 0.71 mol moles of our, uh, of our solution here, of our, uh, 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 which is our concentration here. So let me, um, I'm just going to look at the solution here. And it says here that one gram, which is the one gram per milliliter, which is density of water, times a thousand milliliters, times 0 0.0525, which is the percent of hypochlorite, multiplied by one divided by 74.44 here. Um, and again, I'm assuming 74.44 is the molar mass of sodium hypochlorite. Yes, it is. So what they're doing here is they're taking 
uh, they're 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 trying to look at how what is the concentration for 5.25 percent bleach. So they simply just dividing this number by a thousand, right? Um, by a thousand or by sorry by one liter here, which is simply just also zero point um, uh, zero point. Sorry, they're they're multiplying this by um, by a hundred because they're going to uh, convert the density. So the density here times a thousand milliliters multiplied by our um, our percentage, which is zero point five two five, and multiplied by the molar mass here. So we're assuming uh, we're assuming here one gram of uh, of our bleach here, and therefore we get a zero point seven one moles for our five point uh, two five or five point two five percent bleach. So let me write this down here and I'm going to get, so taking, basically I'm multiplying the density um, by, um, by a thousand milliliters to convert that into grams. So I'm multiplying that by a thousand milliliters. I'm going to multiply that by our uh, percentage, right? So this is 0 0.525, uh, or sorry, 0 0.0525 multiplied by our I'm assuming one gram, obviously, of our bleach. So I would have um, one gram over our uh, molar mass here, which is 74.44 grams per mole. And this will give me, um, this will give me here, uh, again, grams and milliliters cancel out here. The grams here cancel out. Um, so I would be given here moles per liter. So let me do this again. Let me just verify this solution here. So one times a thousand times 0 0.525 times one over 74.44. This will give me a value of indeed 0 0.71, right? So this here would equal 0 0.71 moles uh, for basically 5.25% bleach here. So now what we have here is we have, again, our, sol our moles of our, um, of our NaOCl, and we have our concentration for this guy here as well. So what we can do is now we can write out our uh, chemical equation, right? So we know here we have sodium hypochlorite. So any, let me do this in blue now for change of place. I have NaOCl, it's going to be in e equilibrium with, um, well, it's actually first going to dissociate because this here is an ionic compound, right? So it's going to dissociate into basically Na plus, plus OCl minus. And then uh, what what this guy here, or let me write ClO minus for you actually, that'd be easier because the, uh, the negative is technically on the oxygen here. And then what this guy, um, ClO minus here is going to um, react with the water to form, I have HClO plus OH minus here. And again, this here, this here is our, 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 um, our, kind of equilibrium uh, equation here, right? Because again, this is going to first associate and the ClO minus is going to react uh, in solution with water, right? And again, these are all in the aqueous state here. So I believe they flipped it actually. So this is supposed to dissociate. So it's actually only one way here. And this here is our equilibrium constant here. So they definitely flipped this. Um, that's okay here. Um, let's see. So now we have, we're given our pH, right? So we have to actually work backwards to um, to solve for a volume here. So if I have my pH here, what I want to do is I want to, um, given here, again, given here, I have a, um, I have to, I, I could, what I could do first is I could point out my conjugate acid base pairs, right? So as you can see, I have water here and I know OH here is the uh, base here, right? So uh, therefore this guy has to be the acid here. So uh, water in this case acts as acid and this here Oh, hydroxide is obviously our conjugate base. Again, I am um, I am uh, accepting a um, sorry, I'm donating a uh, a hydrogen here, right? Uh, yes, I am. Don sorry, sorry. This is sorry. Give me a second here. Um, so let me let me scroll back here because I I, I kind of lost track of my my thing here, and let me see what I wrote here. Yes. So bronze cell Lowry theory again. Donating H here would be our would be our acid. Right? If I'm donating a hydrogen here, here I would get an acid. If I'm accepting a hydrogen, it would be a base. Right. So again, here HCl here is my acid. I'm donating a hydrogen, and this here would be our conjugate base here. So it would have to do. So for this question here, if I'm donating a hydrogen here. This guy is being donated to this guy here. So this guy here has to be my acid. 
So again, this here is my acid. This here is my conjugate base, which means this blue one here, this one would have to be my base, right? And this base is here. And again, this here is accepting my, uh, my hydrogen here. So this here is our CA or conjugate acid. So if I'm looking at ClO minus here, I'm looking at um, I, I'm given the pH here, right? And again, this here is a base. So I'm actually, I'm actually gonna write a KB expression here. So KB here is going to equal, I believe this is already uh, balanced. So I don't have to touch anything here. So this here is the concentration of ClO times the concentration of hydroxide divided by the concentration of our uh, hypochlorite ion here. And we don't know our KB, and we actually have to find our KB through our pH here. So given our pH here is um, 10.26, what we're going to have to do is first solve for our pOH, right? So we know that pH plus pOH equals 14. And we know that pH here is 10.26 plus pOH here is equal to equal 14. So therefore, if I subtract both sides by 10.26, I'm going to get pOH here will equal, I believe this is 3.74. And 3.74 here is our power of hydrogen here. And what we have to do is, um, I also know that our pOH here equals negative log of our hydroxide ion, right? And basically, if our, we have our hydroxide ion here, we can solve for our uh, Kb here. So um, given this, I can write pOH here as 3.74 equals negative log of our hydroxide ion, which means our hydroxide ion is simply just 10 to the negative 3.74, which would equal, this here is 1.82 times 10 to the negative four. That's exactly what they got as well, which is great. 10 to the negative four. And this here will be our, uh, this here is our concentrate of, concentration of hydroxide, right? So this is gonna be this guy here. So as you can see, this guy, this here is, uh, we're doing, this is some good work here. So they wrote, they have the, our, uh, they have the, in equilibrium here, which is great. And then what they're doing, um, uh, what they're doing here is they're finding the uh, the KB constant as well, right? So this here uh, is uh, base is, is this here is we can actually solve for a KB here. So let me plug this in to our equation here. So this here would be um, Um, I'm not sure if we're actually given the KB uh, for the question, um, but in but in this case here, um, I'm pretty sure we're given the Ka for this uh, for our acid dissociation constant for HClO, and this here uh, was 3.0 times 10 to the negative 8 here. They usually give you a list of Ka's when you're doing these problems, just because uh, you need to know the Ka here. So, <clears throat> so let's see. Um, so if, uh, I didn't want to search it up, but uh, again, they they wrote here, this is 3.0 times 10 to negative eight, which is the acid dissociation constant. So this is the Ka. Um, and what they're doing is they're organizing this uh, to find the Kb, right? So this here is 3.3 times 10 to the negative seven, which is this Kb over here. And now uh, they have, and what we can do is we can we can figure out our, our concentrations here, right? So this here is 3.3 times 10 to the negative seven. And we know that our both our, our x's here are 1.82 times 10 to the negative four, right? So this here, these concentrations are obviously the same and we just don't know this guy here. So we can, what we can do is we can just use simple algebra here, right? So we can say that this here is 1.82 times 10 to the negative four is squared. 10 to the negative four, and this is squared, right? Just because I'm multiplying both by the same number. I'm trying to find the concentration of our hypochlorite. And then I can simply just do this guy here divided by our KB here to get our hypochlorite. So this here would be ClO minus here would equal, again, I'm doing 1.82 times 10 to the negative four. And then I'm gonna square that divided by 3.33 times 10 to the negative seven. And this here will give us our concentration of our hypochlorite ion, which would be 0 0.0995, which is what they got here, which is great. This is 0 
0.0995 moles. And then finally, what we can do is given our concentration of this guy here, what we can do is now solve for our, uh, we can solve for our, our volume, right? So again, we're simply using C1 V1 equals C2 V2 here, and I'll do this in red. C1 V1 equals C2 V2. So we know that our C1 here is the concentration of our hypochlorite ion, which is 0 0.00995. And our volume here is we wanted, again, 500 milliliters of this solution, right? So we want 500 milliliters of the solution here. So we can say it's 0 0.5. And then this will equal our C2 here, which is our which was what we got here. Right? Our C2 was our concentration here. It's what we started with, right? So 0 0.71, and we and we want and we'll have 0 0.71, and we're solving for our V2 because we were looking at the volume to create this solution here. So the V2 is simply just 0 0.0995 times 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.71. And this here would equal, let me do this, 0 0.0995 times 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.71. And this will give us a value of 0 0.07 for a V2, 0 0.070. And this is in liters. And what we, what we want to do is we want to convert this into our in milliliters, right, as given. So we're going to multiply this by 1,000. So, so this year, I'm going to multiply that by 1, uh, 1,000, sorry, 1,000 milliliters over a liter these two cancel out so i have one two three so this here would be 70.0 milliliters so this here is my solution for this problem here and again they got this right as well so the solution here is correct great analysis let's see if i can do one last problem before we